Welcome to Tip Trials. Today, I'm gonna to try and follow a Bob Ross tutorial on my iPad. Let's see how it goes. Tip Trials. Hello everybody and welcome back to Tip Tut. Today I'm taking a look at following a Bob Ross tutorial using uh, Procreate on my iPad. Now I've downloaded a few brushes um, which are supposed to mimic the different things that Bob Ross does um, but I'm not expecting this to go well. I'm not I don't, I'm not a painter at all. Um, I'm a designer, I'm not an artist, um, but I'm gonna see see how this goes. It should be fun. Uh, I've picked a nice simple one from Bob Ross here and we're just gonna work our way through it and have a good time. So let's, uh, let's get started and see what happens with this. Hello, I'm Bob Ross. Hello, Bob I'd Ross. I'd like to welcome you to the 14th Joy of Painting series. First of all, I'd like to thank you for inviting me back for another series of painting. Ah, oh, it's a pleasure to have you, Bob. first time with us, then let me extend a personal invitation mm. to get out your brushes and paint along. I'll tell you what, or just drag up the old easy chair and spend a relaxing half hour enjoying some of nature's masterpieces. It's very relaxing. We're, we're painting with about a dozen oil colors, a few unorthodox brushes, and mm -hmm. each show I'll try to show you I've how easy them. it is for you the brushes. and how much fun it can be. So I'll tell you what, let's go on up here to the canvas and get started. Okie dokie. Now, I've already covered the canvas with a nice thin even I'm just gonna put my headphones. liquid white. The liquid white just makes the canvas wet and slick. It allows us to actually blend color right on the canvas. I haven't got that, Bob. It I'm using an iPad. Much, much simpler than traditional. Is it any different? So I'll tell you what, let's start out and have them run all the colors across the screen okay. that you need at home to paint along with. I've got those. I've also got a palette here. Oh, Bross Landscapes palette. White and I didn't make this. Around. Somebody else made While it. While they're doing that, let's go on up here and, and let's get started. And we'll do a, let's just do a happy little scene today and I'll show you a, a nice happy little scene, scene that you can do and you'll enjoy. Okay, I've got my let's two inch brush ready. Two inch brush. Yeah, I see. Right into, right I know Bob Ross. A small amount of the phthalo blue. See, there's things like this I'm not going to be able to do. Uh, I'm not going to be able to like spread it out, but I've got tools here. I've read a little tutorial that this brush creator put together where you can kind of recreate it. So I'll have to do things a little bit different to him on occasion. But we can start the same. Let's start right up at the top and we'll use the crisscross strokes. Crisscrosses, I remember the crisscrosses. And go all the way across the top. All the way across the top. That easy. Yeah. All you have to do. That is easy. She's a bit of a the brighter blue. The blue brush is continually, continually mixing with the liquid white that's already on the canvas. Yep. So that I've got the liquid right, Bob. Blends automatically. I've got as it. You work downward. I don't. I'm lying. Landscape. So this is where the blender comes in. This is where we have to do right. things a little bit different. That helps create the illusion of depth. Than Bob. Um, but I can get my big blendy, and we can start to do crisscrosses. Like so. In order to blend. Okay. Maybe about down like that. And then we can start now, going to left to right. A happy little cloud in the sky. If you're going to put clouds in the sky, then you might want to make your sky a tiny bit darker so the clouds will stand out. There we go. In order for a light Bring to some of that white show up. against it. There. Okay, now very gently I'll just go Okay, that looks pretty good. And that just removes the brush strokes and brings yeah. everything together. Isn't that easy. We have a we have a very nice little sky. It does, it's not too bad, does it, Bob? Blue on the brush. I'm gonna go right back into my phthalo blue. Uh huh. And I'm gonna reach right blue. next door here and grab the least little touch of the phthalo green. Very a touch of green. I can much. do that. Very strong. Very strong. Okay, let's go. Here we go. Add a add a little maybe, bit there. Maybe we'll have a little water in this. Ah, page. then it's the water. It's the pulling so in the water from the, from the edge of the page, eh? Eh? Hey? I know your game. Like so. I know your game. Across there we go. Mr. Ross. So here we can. See, if you start here and go across, it leaves a big smudge. distinct line, which is very hard to blend out. So Pull these in. Outside in, and that way you don't have that distinct line. And this little area that's left in here, if everything uh -huh. works just right, it'll look just like a little sheen of light coming across your water when you're all finished. I'm trying to get the sheen of light, Bob. I am. Okay. I'm trying my hardest. And you can take a little bit of this color, and bounce it back up here in the sky if you have some left on the brush. It doesn't matter. The big thing. That we try to teach you here is to enjoy. I think that's a bit big. Have fun. Painting should make you happy. Should make you happy. Okay, let's. It does make me happy. That might be the most fun part of this whole technique. We wash our brushes with odorless thinner. Yeah. Take them off. I have a box down here, and I just shake the brush <laughs> into the box and just beat the devil out of it. <laughs> and beat the devil out of it. 
Now with a nice I'm not going to do that to my pen because that costs like 80 quid. Back over this and just blend it together. Blend it all together, Bob. Spot will remain when you're painting there. You don't have to worry about it. It'll stay there. And you can blend the sky to whatever degree that you want it. I'm trying. I think I'm good. I think this is good. That's, that's just to knock off any excess paint that's on the brush. It's easier than mm. cleaning it. We said we'd have a, a happy little cloud in this painting. So His looks a bit better than mine. Today? You could do this with a oh, with a one inch brush or a two inch brush. I just picked up the fan brush. So let's try that. Load a that's lot a bit better there. Painting, but we can stop blending that in. It's a very firm paint. And you just right. corner the brush. He's on the clouds already. Bob, make little circles. Got, you're moving just fast. Make little circles. Little okay, circles. I've got this. Whisper mixer. Cloud maker. Little He's just doing just a big a bunch of clouds. I just let him float right on off the cool, right on off the canvas. Nice lovely clouds, big fluffy clouds. This piece of canvas is your world, and you have to decide. You have to decide where things live in your world. I'm deciding, Bob. I am. You have unlimited power here. You can do anything that you want to do. I just want to draw some nice, happy clouds. That yeah, looks quite good. There, you're only restricted here by your imagination. Let's pop in another cloud. I am restricted by my imagination. Let's pop in some more clouds. Now, back to our two-inch brush. Soften that one up. We'll take just the top corner, and we're going to more in the background. The clouds out. Tiny little circles using just the top corner of the brush. Oh, then he's mixing those in. It, tease it, pull it up a little, and then very lightly. I'm, I'm, very lightly, I'm teasing. Some and some air. I'm teasing, Bob. And that easy. You built a beautiful. I'm gonna add in another little cloud here. Same thing over here. Just the corner of the brush. Just yeah, that's okay. Up a little, lift it. Yeah, all right. It, and then blend it. That's looking pretty good. good. And that quick, you have a couple of happy little clouds that live in your sky. They are happy. Let's build us a little mountain today. Is I'm happy. I'll use some Prussian blue. Oh, we're using a mountain. Okay, so we want to add a bit of blue. I remember this. Brown, little lizard and crimson. What the heck? Yeah, and then I've got a mountain the brush. Heck? Main thing we're looking for here is a good dark color. Rock oh, the palette knife. Look, that's what he's doing. He's taking a sharp really, cut really look, off of his. Uh, Go straight down with a knife. Choop. There, cut across. Boom. And Straight do a down. Tiny roll of paint right on Big palette knife. That's what we want. Ching. Here it is. Look. This is where you have to make a big decision. Where do oh, you I'm making decisions. In our world, our mountain's going to live. It does now. Uh oh. Right there. With a firm pressure, firm pressure. Push that paint right into the fabric. There we go. Just right into the fabric. I'm pushing, Bob. Like trying to push a hole through. You're not going to hurt it. It's strong. Very strong. Okay, now then, maybe there's another little bump there. And you decide, wherever you want to, scrape off all the excess paint. You can hear how hard I'm scraping. There. I'm scraping, Bob. Really I'm doing it. Get tough with it. There we I go. I don't really want to get now, tough. We'll it's quite tool an expensive brush. tool. And we want to grab it and pull it. I'm still applying a great deal of pressure here. Grab it, pull firmly downward. I'm pulling. That helps create that illusion of mist at the base of your mountain. Ah, okay, this is where the blending comes in. Let's, let's try blending this boy. Just give it a pull. So I can alpha lock him so I don't blend outside the lines. The shadows and highlight shapes here. Oh, that's not working. You can let's turn that off. <laughs> let's give it a go. Ever being committed. Be brave. Smudging these guys Let together them a bit more. Change them and move them. That's a super way to, um, to cheat a little bit. Maybe we can just go to a different brush. He's, he's, oh, he's rushing ahead. And it makes you feel good. You're rushing, Bob. And it's just right. There we are. Let's wash the brush. Just got to fill these in a bit more. Shake it off. <laughs> and there we are. Okay. So he's like blended strangest, that in a bit. Strangest looking cameraman in television. Okay, All so I'm just going to pause him here, freckles. Bob. Then we'll take. Chill out for a second, honestly. You're, you're, you're a maniac. So I think we need to take our smudgy brush. So we've got our mountains. And this is where the challenge of doing this digitally comes in. Because we've got a smudgy boy. Smudgy, smudgy boy. This guy. Ah, here we go. Smudge this guy out a bit more. Yeah. There we go. 
Good. So we've got to take these smudges and just keep smudging until I'm a bit smoother. And then I can bring in some of that mist from this white over here by just smudging that. There we go. Right. This is looking a bit better now, Bob. I think... Oops, that last one was a bit much. Should we undo that last one? Okay, that's looking a bit. That's looking a bit nicer. Okay, what, what are you doing now? Carry Just on. Titanium white. Pull it out. Titanium yeah. white. Take cut across, and once again, our small roll of paint. It's small so roll of paint. Load that knife correctly. Titanium white. Go right up here. Touch. On my uh, no boulder pressure. palette knife. There. Just let the knife float. Ah, he's doing like uh, snow. Ah. Down the side of the mountain. Oh, okay. There we go. No so. pressure. If you apply a lot of pressure, it's going to look just like you're icing a cake. Icing a cake. Got it. This, this breaking in here, the holes left in it. It's not quite working as expected, the Bob. People experience a great deal. Bob. Is they use a paint that's too thin. Bob, wait. You use a thin paint. Just Maybe split bristle right. brush. Maybe that will help. And you're going to be unhappy with me. And I really, I really want this to work for you. That could work better. It's very dry and very firm. That's most, most important. There. Now then, before we get too okay, this could along, work. Get carried away here. Let's put a little shadow in there. I'll just take a little bit of the... Oh, he's just blue, fucking going blue, for it. A little white. Bob, you're just, you're just going for it. You're, this makes it like so. you're a heckin' fool. It out. Once again, our little roll of paint. That's so important. Okay, now, we're, we're doing it. We're doing the little roll of paint. No pressure, once again. No just scraping pressure. this off. Just bam. No pressure. I'm feeling the pressure. This is not as relaxing as people claim it is. We put the shadow color in the opposite or opposing direction from the highlight. Yes. Opposite or opposing. Maybe right up in here. My shadow color. So we take that, make it blue. And a bit darker. That you can build a mountain that easy. And you really can. Really oh I yeah! People all over the country who never, never. Mr. Ross, it's working. Oh, that, I did it. I did it wrong. Such beautiful paintings, and just from watching the different shows that we put on. Oh man, his looks so much better than mine. What the heck? Absolutely fantastic. I mean, I'm not surprised he's Bob freaking Ross, practice, but the easier it becomes, and the better you get. Thanks, man. If there's a secret to this. It is all about practice, isn't it? It's practice. That looks pretty good. There's no big mysteries here. We show you how to do it. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's just practice a little. Maybe we could try this. This, this might balls up the entire thing, but if we just try smudging it a bit. Oh, is that ruined it? Oh, I think I might have ruined it. Let's just undo that. <laughs> See, Bob Ross couldn't have undos. And he's got this idea of uh, happy accidents, but but I like undoing. Oh, he's tapping. He's doing happy taps. We can do a happy tap, look. We'll just happy tap in some of this mist here, look. Nice. Nice bit of mist, look. And then we can start smudging that up on its own layer. I also like layers, which Bob Ross didn't have access to. And it helps create a little more interest in your mountain. Yeah. Happy bug. But if you're out selling paintings, this is this is Boom. what will sell right. your painting. These little. I think we're doing pretty well. Makes your painting special. Yeah, we're not interested yeah. in selling our paintings. We're a bit like you, Mr. Ross. It created another plane in that mountain, and brought it forward. Yeah. You can do all kinds of little tricks like it. Just practice a little bit. Oh, I'm gonna leave it the way. So I'm days, not. You won't believe. You I'm not gonna risk you that. Won't believe what you can do. Okay, let's go back. It's nice to that you believe me, though. Brush. Thank you. I'm gonna go right into this old dark color that I, I have another layer to make the mountain. Let's see. That was some black and some Prussian blue and some Van Dyke brown. Oh, there's all sorts there. in here. Well, I tell you, let's add a little sap green to that too. What the heck? Yep. There we are. You're going crazy, Bob. The brush. Adding in Full sap the green. To both sides. Full oh, he green. wants the fan brush look. And maybe we back got in it. here, there's some little tree liner. Far Maybe. There, there it's a bit sharp. Trees that live in the distance. There. In the distance the trees. It's going to be a bit rougher. And all you have to do 
is tapped down. See there? Hope you can see that. Right. That could work. Let's make that nice and small. Now then, we just you have to just tapping down. Here. Just tapping. Tap tap tap. Where do they live in your world? This is one of the easiest, nicest, most effective ways that I've ever ever seen. Oh, nice. Okay. Indication of a lot of little trees tip, 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 far away. Even if you've never painted before, certainly this is a snap. You can do this. There. And there we are. Maybe. Look at there. Look at there. There they come. Oh, Bob, you're, you're just painting in this. Mate, you're going a bit. You just sort of. You got to calm let down. Your imagination go. Just let your mind wander. This is uh. You can create any illusion that you want. Just it's a little bit much at the moment. Mind, think of things, and and off you go. There. God, how's he just? He's made like a million trees in about two and seconds, tap. and they all look so good. Tap. You know, at the beginning of the show, I said something about drag up your old easy chair and, and relax with me. I had a letter from a fantastic lady, and she told me. Each week when the show comes on in her area, she drags up her old easy chair and she's going to sit and watch the show. And every week, without fail, she falls asleep. And she says, by the time she wakes up, I finished the painting and gone, left her there in the chair by herself. But, you know, whether, whether you awaken refreshed... Ah, or this is this good bit, because he starts doing, like, reflections. Look. Enjoy this as much as I just enjoy pulling it down, week. just pulling... Pulling it down. All I'm doing here is taking that color and pulling it straight down. Pulling it straight down. A reflection. Knock off the excess paint and go gently, gently across. And we have instant reflections. Oh, I've done it the wrong way. Now, I've got several little fan brushes going here, so I don't, I don't have to spend all my time washing them. So I'm going to go into, we'll take a little yellow, reach up here, get a little sap green, load the brush full of color, a lot of color. Go right back up here. Maybe back in here, there's some little okay. grassy areas that live. Just take, give it a little upward push. Bend the bristles. Push upward. See there? Ah, he's making bushes already. And we can make just the indication. Bob, you got to slow so down, mate. You're freaking me out. Back here in the distance. Wherever you want them. Right, there. okay, we can move on. Moving on. Just all uh, happy little shrubs. Here. Touch a little yellow ochre here and there. Little yeah, little nice. Whatever. Let's bring in some of these happy little shrubs. Just okay. new layer. Yeah, then. Let's take new a layer. Little, little touch of the liquid white. I'm gonna oh, put it on yeah. The canvas, or on the palette. Oh, Bob. Go, cut across it. This looks so good. Let's go right up here. And with that, let's just cut in the indication of a little water line. Just where oh, mate, you, you got to pause you a second, honestly. Trip. What a genius this man is. Look at the things he's creating in just like a, a matter of seconds. I've got to just bring in some of this over here. Okay. Nice. And then maybe a bit of smudge, smudgy smudge. Just along the water. Bit of smudgy. Nice. Let's bring in just a slightly brighter colour. We'll go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Bob, it's working, mate. I can feel it. I mean, it doesn't look quite as good as yours yet. But I'm sure we'll get there. It's looking pretty good. I'm tapping the way he taps. Tip, 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 tapping. Although I'm fairly certain his is going to be infinitely better. We'll just do a little bit of a smudgy, a bit of a smudgy smudge. Nice. And then he's like grabbed some white. Look, this is my favorite bit of what he does. He grabs a little bit of white in his little palette knife thing. And it goes down to a really small, oh, smaller than that, smaller, one percent, yeah. And then it'll come, it'll go like really close and just go like, boop, 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 boop. 
Oh, even that's too big. Even smaller. Even smaller. Let's pick a smaller, smaller brush. Teeny tiny fan brush. Would that work? That could work. Oh, that's the one. Oh, yeah. And he's just... Chup, 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 chup. Ah, yeah. How good it looks. And you just quick little boop, 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 boop. Nice. Okay, I think we caught up, Bob. Thank you. Carry on. Hard look like you. Look like your water's gonna run right off the side of the canvas. We don't want that to happen. See how you can create all kind of little, little places where the, this is where the big trout hides back in here. Oh yeah. There. And when you're- Gotta pretty, love catching those trout. stories in your mind. Think about, think about the big fish that lives here and maybe, maybe this is in the far north. Maybe there's a little beaver that comes along here and has fun. Such a lovely, relaxing like guy. Little stories, and yes, people might think you're a little touched, but painters are allowed. People allowed think I'm touched different. anyway, Bob. So enjoy that. It really helps your painting if you, if in your own mind that's your world and you can relate to it. There we go. I'm mixing up a big bunch of dark here. The same things: the blue, the black, brown, a little crimson. You know, same mm -hmm. colors. Let's just stay with the old fan brush day. You could, once again, you could do this with any brush. Load a I've got a brush. Into it. You ready? Back up here. Maybe in our world, there lives a big evergreen tree. Just oh, it's time for a big tree. Canvas. Now, just a corner of the brush. And just sort of let this work back and forth. See there? Once again, you can do this very nicely with a one or two inch brush. Bring it uh, oh God! Oh, he started the leaves. Bob it works just as well. I just had a dirty fan brush, so. Bob, oh, mate, will you do it? it? Just calm down. Look, there. here we go. Split, split bristle. We're coming in. Totally, totally up to you. There we go. Fan brush maybe puts more detail into it. There. Now then, load the brush again. A lot of paint, and it should be very, very dark. You need. We're gonna put some highlights on this. Very dark. This to be dark, so the highlights are Gonna be dark. Let's give him a friend. Oh God! If you've painted with me before. Uh, this one maybe. Needs a friend. Uh, it's a bit, it's he's a bit heavy. He's in the bushes and everything. Man, he's just. Friends are that important. He's just forging ahead. There we go. He's, he's just hecking. He's insane. Okay, we're just gonna stick with this brush for now. Painted probably oh, 20, 30,000 paintings now, and I'm still fascinated. It still it gets you excited to see how how it works, and, and you have to try it to understand. There we go. There we go. See, just back and forth, back and forth. I'm and back and forth in. on this tree. Leaves I've been like leaves, three leaves trees, and in, in the time it's taken me to do like half a little bit of a tree. Have to have a place to sit. We're getting there though, Bob. Please bear with me. And here we can do anything we want. Just because we're going to separate all that with, with highlights. Brush is too slow. Let's get, let's get serious. Let's take the old two inch brush and go right through. I'm just going to leave this color. as one tree, if you don't mind, Bob. This is all a bit overwhelming. One direction through the paint. By pulling it in one direction, it'll round uh -huh. one corner. Uh -huh. And that rounded corner we want to the top. Oh, he's going to do some bushes, look. Here we go. A little push. And watch here. I've got some bushes. Look at all those yeah, things. bush brush. Grass indications and bush indications that make boop, it just boop. automatically. There we go. Boop, boop, now, boop, boop, turn boop, the brush. Boop, 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 oh, that's more shape. like it. There. See that? Think about each individual bush. Give them names if you want to. There's Give them names. Martha and there's Fred. Whatever it takes. Oh, that's very sweet. Each one of these is an individual I use this as a... personality. Begin thinking about him. Building his shape. There. 
And as I say, people may look at you like you're a little, little different, but that's all right. Ah. Us painters, as you know, we're happy. This is when he's going to start adding in the 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 the, the shadowy bits, okay. the highlights. Now then, I'm gonna go back to my fan brush and take some make it a bit bigger. Green, a lot of sap green, a little bit of the yellow. Okay, let's go. Let's go right up here. Now then, I'm just gonna take, just use the corner of the brush. Yeah. Put in the indication here and there. All right. Some highlights. Not too much. I want these trees. Some shadows to be quite too. Dark. Quite dark. Don't want to lose that contrast. I think we might have to add in some nice bits of this tree that to make him look. Shows that your light's coming from the bit right. nicer. So put more emphasis on the right side of this tree. There we go. Oh, that's dark, getting that. Yeah. Here we, Here we go. Here we go. There's more shadows Here we go. toward the bottom of the tree. Plus. Old hems are not as bright and shiny as the new ones. There. Just right into nothing. Now maybe, maybe we want the indication here and there of some sticks and twigs. Now this is, all you have to do is just take the knife, scrape right through the paint, and allow some of the canvas to show through. Now most of this, most of these little twigs will be covered up when we get finished. But the ones that show through here, people will thank you work for weeks with your little one-haired brush putting all that detail in there. And that's our secret. We don't tell them any different. Okay, maybe a couple over here, wherever you want them. Just sort of, just sort of make a decision, drop them in. Let's use the old one-inch huh. brush, Dave. We'll put some highlights in here. Oh God, his we're we're very wildly, of course. I'm sorry. Um, we'll stick to a thick paint. Uh, so uh, oh. We start with the thickest oh God. paint imaginable. When Let's have this put it on the and have like now, a nice bright. We'll just this, add in. I want a thinner paint. These yellows yeah. are made to a thinner consistency intentionally, so they'll stick easy. I even dip the brush into a small amount of the liquid. I think we jumped ahead slightly, but that's okay. Paint even more. Pull As Bob would say, it's all it's our world. Paint. Look at the end of this brush. Look at all the paint that's in there. Probably the most common mistake made is not putting enough paint into the bristles. A lot of color. A lot of color. It's heavy. You can feel it. Okay, let's go right up here. Now you have to start making big decisions in here. I'm making them. Got individual bushes and stuff and trees. Okay. Okay. A little push, gentle. It does not does not take a hard hit. If you've loaded the brush correctly with a nice thin paint, then all you have to do is just touch, and it won't turn to mud on you. See there? One individual bush. All right. You got it now. You got it now. There we go. Now, begin picking them out. One at a time. One at a time. There they come. There they are. I'm going to pick up some Indian yellow and maybe right on the tip of the bristles, a little touch of the bright red. And we can put a bush out here. Yeah. There's little red flowers on it. So oh, God. He's gone, he's gone easy. wildly easy. off you board can do here. Anything out here. Anything. Oh, it's terrifying. I'm just going to add in some shadows this side. We got the ones that are farthest away first. Now we can come back and begin putting some that are closer. I'm going to pretend that's okay, and I'm going to start adding some flowers. Doing the most distant object Bob, first and working flower time. Always What's he doing? He's got scratchy, scratchy, maybe? Well, it's not bad. I'm doing a bit of scratchy, scratchy. Okay. Let's have some fun. Yeah, and nice. In our world here. Maybe no scratchy, scratchy. Little trout lives out here. You got to have a way to go get him. So let's build us a little path. And for that, we'll take the knife, a little touch of Van Dyke Brown, pull it out very flat. Cut oh, he's doing a path. A I have not. I have not left Always space for a path. And go right up here. You have to make a big decision now. Where does your path live? Maybe oh, mate. Right around. What on earth? Do just oh God, no. Okay, new layer. The general basic shape of the path in. We're going to put a path in. To get larger and larger and larger as it gets closer to. We're going to put a path in down here. There. Let's take some dark sienna, a little bit of white. We're doing it, Bob. I'm trusting you. Mix that up, but don't over mix it. Just sort of leave it a little marbly looking. See there, all different colors. I think we might roll have fucked it up. Go back <laughs> up here. Barely touching. Just let it graze. Barely touching. Just let it See there, that graze. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. 
gives you cold chills that works so well. Yeah, I get you. Look at that. See? You can do that. There we are. Let's take... Now then, we want to push that path down to the painting. There. Yeah. All you got to do is bring some of those bushes right over it. Okay. okay. Setting it in by Let's bringing some bushes over it. To the other side of the path. Well, that's Still a bit bright. Lives. There he is. It's a happy little tree that lives right here. And he hangs out right over the path. He just lives here Bob. and sort of hangs out. See, now that path disappears. You're right a in the bushes. frickin' genius. You don't know where it goes. <sighs> How are you doing any of this? Tree branches. That's a private that going to work? Right there. It's where the little rabbit hides. and <laughs> He has fun. Mr. and Miss Rabbit live there. There. That little bush it hangs over. Right there. Right there. And he's got a friend. Lives here. Like that. There we are. There. Okay. Now then, we can take just a clean knife and just go around and scrape in the indication of some little trunks and sticks and twigs and see there. That helps show distance in your painting. All right. Shows different planes. I'm trying to show distance. I don't think it's quite working as well as yours is, Bob. Now then, take our liner brush, put a little paint thinner on it, maybe a little bit of the Van Dyke brown. We want this uh, color to be as thin as ink. Let's go I think the clouds stand out pretty well. Just a little stick here. And you can put a few of these in. Ah, you it's pretty like a stick. I could do a stick. Add a little I'm going to brush on tree branches. Perfect for a stick. A I want to add a little bit of red. Just and I think I'll sign this paint. There we are. Then paint. Then this ink. And with that, I think we'll call this painting finished. And from all of us here, I really hope you've finished. enjoyed it. So happy painting. Finished. God bless. I'll see you next time. Bob. Honestly, Mr. Smith. Mr. Ross, Mr. Smith, my mind is <laughs> completely ruined. Mr. Bob Ross, thank you so much, my friend. Um, <laughs> I don't think it was quite as successful as his, but you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. That was really fun. Sorry if there was a lot of quiet in this video, you guys. It's kind of hard to, to relax and paint and talk at the same time. Mad respect for Mr. Bob Ross for getting that done well thanks very much for watching i know this is a weird episode of tip tip, tip trials today but um hopefully you guys enjoyed it as much as i did and maybe if you followed along maybe you could uh pop pop your drawings up on social media as well and uh show me what you did uh and how how much better yours is than mine because mine's not super great is it let's be honest okay well thanks very much for watching everybody i do appreciate it and i'll see you all next time on the next episode of tip trials or the next episode of tip Up. see you then for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.